Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Everything is going swimmingly, beautifully, delightfully. There's not a thing wrong going on in this pig pen of ours. So we just need to be very happy that everything is wonderful, beautiful, awesome, and incredible. We are making some improvements. We're going to extend the poop container. And with the poop container extended, we can definitely rest assured that we are not going to be absolutely dying from lack of oxygen and temperature. But look at that. We've got our poop container at maximum. I, oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> if I make it deeper, it has to be deeper. Okay, everything's fine. And we've got one open bed, which means that it's time to welcome someone new to our home. This is great. I like the both of you, but we already got someone like you, so we, we need a Gossman, or as I like to call them, a Slumpo. <laughs> Literally, I, I'm like... Michael Myers. I'm like... Steve Buscemi. I'm like from The Office, the, the manager. I'm, uh... I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm like, ah, uh, Michael Myers, Mike Wazowski, Mike, Michael Scott. No. I'm like Michael Scott. I identify the first physical characteristic that I see, and I apply that to your name. So you were slumped over, so you're Slumpo. <laughs> so everybody say hi to Slumpo here. Hi, Slumpo. Hey, how you doing? That's Tinkle Tush. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, you just came out of the ether. Yeah, you you did absolutely nothing. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's right. It's not a problem because I'm about to make it not be a problem. Because this is how smart I am. Guys, watch. Guys, watch. This is such a genius idea. Never mind, they're going to do that tomorrow. I mean, apparently they can still pump it, which is kind of amazing, but whatever. I guess that still physically works. Oh, uh, we don't have a pump. And they're not gonna have any water for their showers. Oh, I guess it's still there's still some in the pipe, so I guess it sucks it out for some reason. And this is your bed. Where are you, Slumpo? Slumpo. Oh, Slumpo's already got it. No, Slumpo, no, that's not your bed. You have a much nicer bed. No, destroy it. No, Slumpo. Destroy it. You wanna destroy it? Destroy it, Slumpo. You don't need to be there. Slumpo! Slumpo! Alright, fine. Slumpo is not gonna destroy it because Slumpo's a jerkwad. Uh, we're out of power. Who'd have thought? Unrefrigerated food? Yeah, I know. We've got 69,420 calories, and I just don't have anything to do about that. I think if we waste a little food, it's gonna be fine. Everyone's got their bath time. Ooh, hee-hoo! What about Slumpo? Slumpo needs... Ah, we could have another researcher. You want to be a researcher, right? So why not give research just because if they have research, then they can help out instead of hee-hoo being the only one. But you also want to... Ooh, critter wrangling. We could do both! We could have you do both. There's no reason why you would only need to do one. But let's get you some advanced researching because that helps you learn other skills too. If, unless that's changed and I'm thinking about oldness. All right, hey Slumpo, you get that one. That's you, Slumpo, that's you. Have they cracked open the egg yet? No, they're about to though. Hey, can you crack this open? I want to see this horrible idea. There we go. That didn't do as much as I thought it was. Oh, there it is. The waves are propagating. That's not, that didn't. All right, I know fluid dynamics, and I'm 100% sure that this is not the way that fluid dynamics is supposed to work. So, just saying, there probably needs to be a little better fluid dynamicizing happening, if I'm going to be perfectly honest here. Hey, wow, this, this broke open. Oh, God, no. Does that mean, oh, no, that's leaking. We need to close that off, but it's really hot down there. So, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, we're, uh, emergency close off. That's probably good. That'll fix it. Fixed forever, I say. Fixed forever, I say. Never have to worry about it again, I say. I say, <laughs> all better. <laughs> forever and ever. And no one will ever question 
how good I am at managing everything. Also, where's my uh, where's my hatch? Where'd the hatch go? Hope the hatch didn't leave. That's that's no good. Attribute increase. Who increased? Ooh, athletics. Ooh, nice. Wonder if athletics actually helps with that. I've never known if the manual generator is actually helped by athletics generation, but maybe. Hey, yeah, yeah, make it nice and cool in here. Make it nice and cool. Yeah, yeah, that's what's doing it. Yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good stuff. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, pump it, pump that cold. I need a better system for keeping things relatively insulated through a door. I don't think this is doing it good enough, but hey, it's the best that we can do at the moment. I don't know why the coal generators aren't being done anymore. Are they still hooked up? Why is no one doing the coal generators? Like that's supposed to be helping us and yet we're not doing anything about it. Also, it's heating up our water supply, which is again, not a very smart thing that I'm doing, but I'm not a very smart person. So I guess I can't really say anything about it, but whatever, it's, it's still not very smart of me to do something like that. Oh, whoops. Why is that? Wait, that doesn't work anymore. Why is that there? I really shouldn't have made the, the, the ranching pit right above the water supply, should I have? That seems like an erroneous thing for me to do at this juncture. Now I'm starting to realize that maybe there was a bit of a problem with me doing that thing, thus that thing that it is doing. So perhaps, mayhaps, it's not the greatest of ideas. Even though I do think that it might be, it actually is not. The ideas that I have in my brain are sometimes not the greatest that ever existed, and in fact are occasionally those of which are full of nightmares. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, are we doing okay on what? No, the answer is no. Ooh, we've reached, we've breached, we breached, we breached the ocean. Ah, the sweet salty brine. I don't know how far that goes, but that's a lot of ocean. Ooh, you're steaming, ooh, 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 you're steaming it up. All right, cool, yeah, you keep blasting it. Um, until you eventually, the pressure gets too big and then it explodes, that'll be a problem, but until that happens, I'm not gonna worry about it because I'm not a worrying kind of person. What I need to do here is I need to make a pump. I know I'm not gonna be able to power it just yet, but I'm gonna need to make a pump. Uh, it can probably be here for now and then I'll move it later, but I'm gonna need to pump and then I'm gonna need to eventually power it. Now I'm gonna worry about a separate power supply, specifically just for this one. It's, it's gonna be part of the same circuit. If I can put a coal one up here, say right here, the coal carbon dioxide would spill downward and then, you know, it wouldn't necessarily be that bad. So if I have this connected up through here, yeah. And then that would generally be able to power all of that, and we would get some kind of a liquid delivery. No, 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 wait, 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 no, no, no. And then this would go into a separate dump, because I don't want to necessarily have this be in the same dump. It's fine if they're on top of each other, I think. There's no problem with that, right? It's all clean water. All right, good, good, good. How are we doing on germs? Better, we're more contained. Oh, that's a lot of germs. So they're gonna work on that and then that's gonna be all good. And then we're gonna have a way to get more water. Big water, not just like little bits of water, but I'm talking like big honking water. Everybody loves big honking water. I love big honking water. You love big honking water. Everyone loves big honking water. Who doesn't? Crazy people, freaks even, <laughs> not me. I'm not a freak. <laughs> and let me research something. Medicine sounds good. Let's go, let's go medicine. Full on medicine, medicinally. We're gonna get some medicinizing. There's a lot of carbon dioxide happening in here. I'm not 100% sure if there's something I should do about that or if it's actually gonna be okay. Cause so long as it's contained to there, I mean, it's, it's relatively fine. I could put some airflow tiles through here so eventually it would leak out. I mean, technically speaking, if I airflow these, the water wouldn't leak out but the air would, which is all I really need. Is it that simple? I think it might be that simple. Huh. Huh. It's, I'm waiting for the oxygen just to die out everywhere because we're so packed full of oxygen everywhere. I really didn't need as much as I, I had. So I'm gonna get it to a point where I can be self-sustaining. What? Why are you looking here? Who cares? Go away. Okay, yeah, now that the airflow tile would come out, then there'd be enough, right? 
Thankfully, it seems the stress has gone down. And I think that's largely in part with the oxygen not being so absurdly, incredibly girthy that everyone's ears explode. And I think that's a big help. Still got a long way to go on this project here, uh, but it should be done relatively quickly. And hey, you know that whole like long commute thing? That kind of has gone away. While they're sleeping, let me look at the colony summary just to see like the travel time if that's gone down. Okay, calorie, oxygen consumed, it spiked up with the new member, uh, 84 to 85, you know, that's surprisingly close. Like, it's, it's really not that bad. Total work time, uh, efficiency is up. Total travel time, it's still high, but as it's trending down, I guess? I, I don't know. Uh, average work time? Oh, no, that's gone down. Average stress created, domesticated critters, one, none. <laughs> It's funny, we had one, and then one was gone. <laughs> My next goal, I think, is, you know, they eat such garbage meals that I think we're gonna have to set up a system where they start to eat a little better. But in order to do that, the very minimum that I need is bristleberries. And I've got nothing wrong with getting bristleberries. Ooh, it's getting toasty. It's getting really toasty in here. There's nothing wrong with having bristleberries, uh, except that they take water. Water's the big thing, and until I can start draining the ocean, I can't really afford to make bristleberries. Because that's water that's just gone. That water goes away. And yeah, we have a steam vent, which is very good. It's good to have a steam vent right here, because that is quite literally an unlimited source of water. What we don't know is just if it's actually going to be useful to me or not. I, I'm not sure how steam vent changed. Remember back, way back when, if you've been watching this for a while, Remember when steam vents would just produce an unlimited amount of water all the time and it was way too much water and they erupted way too often, which just meant that eventually over time, if you got to like cycle a thousand, your entire place was just water. And that was it. Nothing else besides just water, as far as the eye can see. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try to avoid that. What happens if you get to the bottom because all this is just like a sphere, right? It's just a big sphere asteroid. What happens if you get to the bottom? No, you can't get to the bottom because the bottom actually has a limit. The up is the thing that has the space. So I don't need to worry about that. That's fine. That's all good. I'm not worried about that. Priorities, I need to put you researching and ranching, which is a weird combination, but whatever. And this is kind of working. The carbon dioxide is starting to flow out and then these things are starting to take care of it. So that's good. Oh, Ooh. Looks like we're almost ready to go for the desalinization as soon as we get our power up. Oh, they can't reach that. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm dumb. Okay. You know and I think my favorite thing about this game is, and what's drawn me to it since the very beginning, it's literally just the name. It's part, I mean, it's, it's part of the name. It's in the name. The oxygen. There is something so viscerally pleasant about this floating, fluid, blue, sparkly oxygen. There's something so nice about the idea of filling up a space with oxygen to make sure that these things can just breathe. I think there's something like deeply connected to human nature is like, oh yeah, I don't want to not breathe. Not breathing is like the worst thing. So I got to make sure these guys have oxygen and it's such a pleasant blue. I don't think this game would be nearly as cool without that kind of fluid dynamics enabled oxygen in here. And, and it's it's so it's so perfect too because polluted oxygen is like, it's dirty, I don't want that, get it out of here. Like there's something, there just is something so viscerally nice about this idea with the polluted oxygen and like just all of it in general. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a deodorizer down here so that we can have that. Are we done here yet? Ooh, there we go. Now we're getting it. Meemaw is just the best, by the way. Can I say that? Meemaw is just phenomenal. Like, the only person that's really building here, and yeah, building does take a little bit of time, but at the same time, Meemaw is just super the best. Like, the best. Like, the best. Meemaw's killing it every day. Meemaw's killing it. Anyway, just wanted to say that. Meemaw's really doing good. I don't think I have the morale to get everybody doing things. I could give people some tinkering because there's not enough people that are able to operate stuff. Maybe some tinkering. Maybe just give everyone baseline tinkering because I feel like that's important. Oh, you're already up there. I'll worry about you later. Carrying uh, strength, I guess. Strength would be good for you. Tinkle tush, hiding. Yeah. Oh, why does Tinkle tush have so much morale? Tinkle tush is so moralinized. Holy crap. Okay, Turntner. Just a little bit tinkering. Uh, nah, aesthetic design. Evil baby face. Eh, uh, crap. 
goaltending. Good old dumpling. Oh, cr oh, too much. Not enough morale. Why does someone have so much morale and someone does not? Probably because they spend so much time in this nice aesthetically. That's probably what it is. They spend so much time in this lovely place of decor that they end up never needing to worry about stress because their morale is just so ungodly high. Very interesting. Something to consider. Maybe I need to improve the decorum of this entire area. I don't have anyone as a dedicated tidier. Maybe I should have someone as a dedicated tidier. Turner right now is like the supplier, but frankly, I don't even know if we need that. What if we have you be the plumber? I don't know if that does anything good. What is plumbing? You're our plumber. That's good. It's just as good as your plumber. Look at you. You're here to tidy up. I guess that's good. Yeah. You're still doing the same basic thing, but you've been promoted! You're no longer just an errand boy! You're a promo! Are we done here? Come on, come on, come on, come on, Mima, go, go, go! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Man, Mima, you are good at building, but that still takes a long time. Wow. That's 325% construction speed right there. So now that's in there, uh, let's get coal and bada bingo, bada boom. That will be just the coal generator for this. And then suddenly we'll have desalinization going on. And I don't know how much desalinization we're gonna get, but I'm expecting a deluge, a flood of water. I'm expecting so much water that we won't even be able to tolerate how much water we have here. That's how much water I mean. Why is there so much poopy water? Why is there poopy water here? Why is there a thin line of poopy water? Is it because I drained it from here? It's because I drained it from here. I drained it from the slime poopy area. I got- Isn't that good? But hey, look, we've got a nice uh, natural thing of reed fiber here. That's good. All right, can we get this to have some uh, coal, please? I wish there was a button that was like, Hey, give us the coal in here. Hey, we need some coal. Evil baby face, you're not doing anything. You're not doing nothing. What are you doing? You're doing nothing. I don't even know, what does the hat do? It's not like it limits them to the job. What does the hat do? I don't think the hat does nothing. I think the hat is just an aesthetic thing. I think the hat's just aesthetic. Eggshells. Why are there eggshells here? I'm Lixie and I'm turning up the game volume because I think it was a bit quiet. This is a little late to be saying in episode eight, but you know, I kind of want the volume Generally be nice and audible. I don't want it too quiet. Too quiet is too bad. It's a very fine line. Don't mess it up. If you mess it up, everyone's gonna be mad. I'm gonna be mad. Everyone's gonna be mad. Don't mess it up. You can't mess it up. Don't you dare. Stop. Oh, are you sure? Oh, is that too quiet? Oh, is it too loud? Wait, no, hang on. It might be too quiet, too loud. Wait, no, is that too loud? Oh, I think I can hear it too much. Oh no, now I can't hear it at all. Okay. That's probably pretty good. Yeah, I think you're fine, maybe. Are you sure? Didn't think so. I'm just messing with you, am I? Maybe not. Maybe? Maybe not. Probably not. Maybe so. Make sure you get it right. Hey, is this working now? Can I get some goddamn coal in here? Yellow alert! Coal! Coal! All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's happening. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's a lot of salt water that we're going to be pumping up. Oh, yeah, pump it, baby. Pump it. You're not going to have a home anymore. Pump it. Yeah, yeah, pump, baby, pump. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's about to happen. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Wow, look at it go. Oh, yeah. That's not as desalinization as I was hoping. It's about half a kilogram, so it does about as much as those. So technically speaking, you would need two of them to really get it going. But hey, as an additional source of water, that's pretty good. Now we've got water being created and we get to have salt, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, it said that salt improves the quality of meals, right? So people can stop complaining about the stupid meals. It will be at least 40 degrees Celsius or hotter if the input materials are hot. Okay, whatever. I guess that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Who cares? What's the temperature at? <laughs> fine. <gasps> that's a lot of heat. Maybe I should put it in a, a cooler, a quaft or a cooling quaft there because the heat is getting... Oh, 29.7. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Wait, no. Hang on. That's actually bad. That is borderline bad. We don't need these lights. These lights are generating heat. What are we doing? We're crazy. Why do I have lights in here? They're practically roasting it alive. Oh, why didn't I just realize that? How many times have people told me that? I don't care. No backseat gaming.
Let me die! Let me die! Get rid of them, get rid of them! Come on, guys, get rid of them! They're producing heat! Oh, I'm so stupid! Of course they're producing heat! They're lights! What am I insane? Oh, God, what have I been doing? They produce heat! Oh, I'm such a fool! Uh, maybe it'd be a better idea to have, like, the cooling in the central location, like, right here. I, I get the idea between pumping cold air around, but it also might just be better if I actually have the cold air right where I need it to be. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hello, salt water. Not what I care about. Algae, that's better. We're doing pretty good on algae, by the way. Heat. Um, uh, poopy. <laughs> why is there so much poopy air? Uh, why is no one taking care? Oh, is this full? I bet it's full. I probably need another one of those. Yeah, I'm gonna make another one of those. Cause I don't think I need two of these. Yeah, I, I don't think I need two of those. Okay, desalinizator is going good. We're getting nice salt. Where's our salt? Salt water? Where's salt? Give me salt. I want to see the salt. Ooh, I want to see the salt. Where's raw mineral? Nope. Where's our... Where, do you have salt in you? Salt can be refined into table salt. Well, that's stupid. Well, that's dumb. Well, that's just dumb. You're dumb. That's just stupid. Oh, God, I did. Yeah, they're, they're really warm by where the lights were. It's 29.9. That's what it was doing. That was killing me. Just having those there. At least those are going. That's nice, I guess. That's nice. Really cold stuff. Nice and chilly. It's good. It's good stuff. When am I going to get the air conditioner? I don't know. When's the air conditioner? I don't have research going because I'm an idiot, so I obviously don't have any research. HVAC. There we go. That's what I needed. Oh, even though I'm not going to be able to do anything about that. Ooh, espresso machine. That would be a waste because I know the espresso machine would require us to have hot water, but I kind of like it. But I don't like it that much. We need to worry about temperature first and foremost. Because this is not an equivalent exchange. I know that for a fact. But this is generally the idea behind these air conditioners thing. Now, if I could find an ice biome, which maybe there is one, maybe there's not. I have no idea. I don't see one in the immediate vicinity, so I think I'm generally just like boner owned. Ooh, it's getting colder over there. There might be something up there. There might be something up that way. Uh, no, just warm. Just very warm. Oh, that's all very warm. Very warm. That's so warm. It's so warm down there. It's so warm down there. Why? Why is it so warm? That's what you would call not good. I don't know why that's cold like that. Okay, so best bet seems to be up over here, but then there's another geyser here from that neutronium that I can see. So... yeah. God, I'm at somewhat of a standstill because even if I've got the desalinization happening, I'm still running into the problem of not enough water. I need water. That's first and foremost. Maybe I should, but then it'd be hot water and then I wouldn't, oh, and then I wouldn't have that. Uh, is this getting better? It's going down. It's going down. It was 29.7. Now it's going down because those lights aren't there anymore. I was beaming lights onto them for no other reason than I'm an idiot. This is gonna be insulated just because I see some heat leaking through here and I don't like it. Just around this area here. Zero stress though and zero sick. That's uh, one evil baby says got stressed. Probably because his evil plans aren't working. How are we doing on oxygen? Okay, we're getting back down to a more reasonable level but we're still doing pretty okay. So I don't need to turn any more on just yet. Let me go ahead and destroy these. These don't make any sense down here because this is just, uh, it's just a terrible, 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 stupid place to have a ranch. Why would I have that there? It doesn't make any sense at all. Oh yeah, 29.1, 29, 29.4, 29.2. Okay, temperature is going down. God, I was dumb. Why was I so stupid? <laughs> all right, so what I, what I could do now, okay, maybe I should take advantage. No, then it just make hot water. Okay, temperature, I can't utilize anything with heat because it's just gonna ruin the entire environment that I have. If I use things to filter water with heat, I'm gonna die. So I just cannot do that. So I have to find other means. There's an ocean over here. It's relatively cool. I mean, the cold vacuum of space would be a good place to uh, get my heat down, but you know, frankly, I don't think I wanna do that just yet. I, I think what I need to do is I need to, I need to figure out a way to start getting refined materials, but it's so much power that's needed. God, it's so much power. Maybe I just need more battery. Maybe I need like way bigger battery banks, but then I, ge those generate heat, that's a problem. I don't know. Is there a way to win? I don't know. Because uh, it's not a problem of battery storage. It's a problem of just generating the power in the first place. Like, that's the issue. I just don't have enough power. 
Because my problem right now is these guys are always on those. They they know no other life but being on those generators just because they can never fill it up. Even though I've got, say, coal generator, no, not right now anyway. Even though I've got, say, a coal generator that's helping them out, it's never gonna be enough. See, even if they're running max, flat out, they still aren't making enough power to offset the consumption. So the problem isn't necessarily storage, it's generation. So I need to get a better way to get power. Wood burner, I don't have any wood. Hydrogen, I don't have any hydrogen. Coal, I've got coal, but coal's not unlimited. Yeah, I can't have them just live their entire life here. Even though it's a good life with all the decor that they have and the lovely shine bugs and the lovely little animals that are gonna die soon. I can't have them just have that because that's no way to live. It's just no way to live. I gotta do something better for that, which means I gotta figure out a way to get power. So the only other power thing I have is hydrogen. And just because I don't have hydrogen doesn't mean that I can't get hydrogen. What I gotta do is I gotta find like a hydrogen vent because this isn't gonna be enough hydrogen to do anything with. I mean, hydrogen's a good source, but it's not the best source because it's just very difficult to, it's just very difficult to get hydrogen. Bleach stone, there's probably some new materials in here that I don't, fully understand. Okay, let me just put, I'm gonna put the coal generators at a level six priority, just because I wanna try to get it so that these guys don't have to work all the time, every time. And I want the coal to be right next to them. Coal storage is gonna be right here, and it's gonna be a higher priority than the other coal. Okay, so that should be helping them. Now it's going up, good. Now it's going up. Even though they're doing it, it is going up. And hopefully overnight, it won't be going down. So I think, uh, I think just like for now, the only thing that I can do is I got to continually just feed coal into it because coal is a much easier material to feed into it than hydrogen. Right now, I just, I have to rely on coal power for now because like the other option is just like, how, how else am I gonna do this? There's no other way to do this besides getting these coal generators going as fast as they can because I need these two blue duplicates. I need these three duplicates. I need them on my side. You should not be on that. The batteries that you're powering are fine. Yeah, the batteries that you're powering are more than enough. You just got nothing else to do and you're bored? I guess not, you don't have any research to do. Uh, so we got HVAC, so that's good. Uh, maybe some more automation? Hazard protection, transit tubes, that'd be pretty good. But uh, what we, what I think we need is eventually we need this kind of stuff. Yeah, this advanced stuff. Because I, I want to get plastic manufacturing going because I know a lot of materials require plastic. In the in the, in the the end game of this one, there's a lot of things that need plastic. You got to have plastic. You got to do all these plastic things. So we'll set them to task on that. And all the coal is being stored here, which is great. So now there's no excuse to have coal in those machines. There's no excuse. You guys should be done. You, you guys want to live another life? You don't have to do this your whole... You, there's more to life than just those. That battery's kind of full, he who. There's research to be done, he who. There you go, bye, he who. All right, these guys aren't aren't gonna know what to do besides running. They're gonna, they're gonna be so confused. Three, two, one, and stop. There we go. Yes, yeah, you did it. You did it. Why, wow, yeah. They did it. Wow, they're proud of themselves. Oh, that makes me feel happy. I don't know why, but that makes me feel very happy. They did it. They're very happy. All right, how are we doing here? 29.5. That's not better. That's worse. That's worse. Wait, wait, what? I thought it was getting better after took the lights out, but apparently there's more heat than just the lights in here. Maybe it's all this heat generating things here. I hate it. I hate heat. I hate the heat. The heat is hate. Oh, we're gonna run into a problem. Oh God, we just don't have, we don't have what we need. All right, uh, I'm gonna end this one here just because I don't know what else to do for now. I, I need to think about this because I need to get the temperature down. This has been like the boogeyman that's lying in your closet right behind you. And if you turn around, then you'll really be pissed off. So I gotta address this eventually, just like you gotta address that eventually. Thank you everybody so much for watching. We're very close to the brink of death because as soon as the temperature gets too high, then all my food production goes out the window and then everyone starts starving and then I gotta make mush bars and then I run out of water and then I don't, I run out of power because everyone's making mush bars and then I can't produce the power to be able to make the mush bars and then everyone dies. That's how this works. So we're gonna try to avoid that because I'm not a worrying kind of person. <laughs> so thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.